Hi, it's Joy and Tame Grinch watching Supergirl season 6, episode 7, Fear Not. Oh my goodness, it's the mid-season finale. I am like 98% sure that the show is going to go on a hiatus until August, which sucks, but it also does mean Supergirl lasts that bit longer. Um, and hopefully it means that we are going to save Kara this episode. We're going to get Kara back this episode episode the last episodes were a lot of fun and I feel like this one is gonna be less fun and more traumatic <laughs> I don't know just fear not entering the phantom zone the phantom zone is obviously a pleasant place there's Mixie Nixie she's Nixie it was Mixie before um Kara's dad so much is happening I'm excited to see adult Kara again and I'm excited as always I'm just excited hello I'm excited are you excited a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon and let's go okay good he's all right oh lord Oh no! Kara? Oh, she's the... Have you got enough hope from her? Uh-huh. Exactly, he's got such hope now. No, they're not, sweetheart. Kara, that's just what the Phantom wants you to believe. I hate seeing Kara without hope. It's a ship! <laughs> God, people that live in the nearby neighbourhood will get a fun time looking at the comings and goings here. <laughs> I love Martian technology. Me too. Oh. Oh, good. This is this is very promising. No Let's get Kara. We've talked about it a lot. God, live like I said, living in this neighborhood would never be dull. And the best shot that we have at reaching her, and you know that. So I can ship shift, making it you she sees first. No, that'll make it worse. She'll know that it isn't real. It has to be me. Alex has a point. I'm not risking losing both of you. I am not risking. I sure as hell am not risking you. Oh, for God's sake. What, what, what? Oh my god. I'm really not loving this turbulence thing. The shields are half done! Oh, lovely. Oh. <laughs> Did he get her? It was enough for that, was enough for Kara to be got. Oh, yep. Alex, you know it's the right. She's gonna be. God, one of her worst fears will be losing Kara. Yep, I thought that was coming. You can't fly. Oh. Oh, is this her worst fear? She still stood next to Jean. Right. Alex, please say she stood next to Jean with her eyes all grey. Ten minutes earlier. Okay. Good thing this is our family now, right? Oh, Nia. Oh my God! Can the phantoms get in through that? What? Why is a seahorse attacking her? Are they all being fear attacked? It's one of her folk tales that she, her mum used to read her, right? It me of yes, your fear. Yeah. What can you see? What can you touch? What? Yes, but we're in a fear realm, remember? It's... Oh, Lena. Yes! It is your nightmare. <laughs> I need them all to realise. Yes. Yes, Lena, yes! Everything goes according to plan, and you won't need it. You're gonna need it immediately. I mean, you are all superheroes, and you will be soon too. Just the one keeping us all from losing our mind. Uh huh. Oh, how's Kelly's worst fear gonna represent itself? Everyone's gonna be possessed. Remember, 
think on your trainings. Yep. Just these all feel so real. Is her remembering Alex going to be what reminds her it's not real? What is this? Feels so realistic. It's an eventful ten minutes. Is this a real dream or is it a fear dream? A nightmare, I suppose. The tower with lots of holes in it. The shield's broken. The containment unit or the shield? Uh huh. Holes in the hole. So her not being able to do it in time, her not being able to solve it will cost her brainy. It's a fear vision, remember? I hate this. Is this real? I don't trust anything. Because this could be real. And your clue in nature is doing the same for you. Well, or is this another vision? Allows me to compartmentalize my fear. The entire room is filled with balloons. Oh God! Balloons. <laughs> balloons. Jean Blue. 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 They must be stopped. Okay. I hope this one's real. <laughs> Electrons, coconut shampoo, pizza. No. <laughs> You're just rubber filled with air. I'm not frightened of you. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, he sensed Cora. Not today. You're strong. But I can protect them. Oh. <laughs> I see you, Guardian. Oh, Nia. She didn't fight through it. Oh, yes. Oh god! Cara, sweetheart, we're coming for you! Oh, Cara, I love you! Look at this. We made this. Oh! Because we're going to go on. Oh! She's inspired him to have hope again! What's the point? Cara, no. Hope is never wrong. There is none. No, I hate this. No, it's not. Hope is the bravest thing. You can fix things. You did. She's got a dad. An ocean of tears until there was nothing left in me. Ooh. Until you came. <laughs> and you filled me up with your spirit. Yeah. Your love. Yeah. And I won't give up again. We'll find our way out. I know we can. Yeah, I love this. Together, nothing can stop us. Yeah. Cora deserves her dad. Please tell they're both making it out. Oh, this is so beautiful. Believe in us. Get a son, get a son, get a son. Um, he should get pals too, right? Your family. That's my family. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I knew the bitch would make it. It's fine. You can be our villain next season. It's cool. And Kara is safe and her dad got out too. And I wanted to see more of the reunion. I don't want to wait till August for the reunion. Fuck you, I don't want to wait till August for the reunion. I don't want to wait till August. They, I have one Kara and Alex. Fuck one. This was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Getting an insight into all the different characters and really kind of showing you what they're dealing with, what their demons are and where they came from. I like that with Lena, we got to something that is a deep rooted fear, her most deep rooted fear and trauma, which is the death of her mother. Um, I like that they kind of seem to be implying her mother was Irish, which explains her American Irish accent, but no. Um, in all seriousness, any kid having to watch their mother drown, absolutely horrific. Um, 
Dina's story, Dina's life is full of so many battles that she has overcome and that's why I was so disappointed when last season she did what she did and they did that to her character because for me it kind of ruined her character but I did enjoy kind of seeing her how much she does view these people as a family, how much it really does mean to her that they have accepted her after everything she did last season, that they are there for her, they would call her family, um, that she would want to fight for them. And I like that she was kind of able to overcome that original fear and understand that the reason she is so terrified of that story and the idea of drowning is because of the unresolved feelings about her mother and maybe she will actually start working through that. Not that you would ever get over the loss of a parent, but a parent you loved, but I think that is going to be something that is very important for her going forwards. I do think Lena did figure it out because she's really intelligent, but also because it was a Kelpie. <laughs> like, none of the others, everyone else had phantom related traumas, which like all of us could figure out weren't real, were, couldn't figure out weren't real. But I did um, kind of like getting that view into like completely what's driving Lena, because it very easily could have just been something to do with becoming a villain or betraying Kara again or Lex you know but it was the real root of her character. Then we have Nia um, who is almost the most heartbreaking one because she truly did not win in her vision. She did figure out the dream but it was too late and if they hadn't have had a time travelling machine when they were in Midvale it would have been too late as well so I can see why that's playing on her mind and I wish she'd stop beating herself up so much because I think she puts such pressure on herself to be able to instantly figure out what her dreams mean and then if she can't do it instantly she's a failure and a terrible person and she's betrayed her mother's legacy when it's not that at all she needs time to learn she needs time to train you know it's her mother's fault for not realizing that once she had two daughters not one that maybe the powers would go to Nia and not her sister she should have been training them both on how to deal with dreams they should leave behind some kind of a family passed down through the generations handbook on it you know something that would help daughters if they were to lose their mothers too soon um I hate that Nia is so lost at the moment and so convinced that she's not enough because she is and so she really just was utterly defeated in her vision and I really hate that, that, you know, she kind of had to accept her failure was the only way she got out of it. And I hate that. I really think that's probably something they're going to continue to focus on over the next episodes. We're maybe going to see Nia coming into her own. But that was really hard to watch. Alex, the first one that initially had me going, thinking it was real. Um, for her, it was definitely the fear that she would be the reason they couldn't find a car. The fear that she would cause people to be in more danger. Um... But I think hers is interesting because I can't tell 100% whether she won or lost because in some ways she won, she beat her fear because she came to terms with the fact that she's not essential in finding Kara. I mean, yes, she is pretty essential if you ask me, but that, you know, at the end of the day, she would sacrifice herself to save her sister, to save Kelly, to save everyone. I think that kind of putting other people first, that self-sacrificing, that doing anything she can to save Kara and her family is something that has kind of limited her in some ways throughout her past um and I'm intrigued to see kind of if that does drive her into doing anything else going forward hopefully it will drive her into finally having children because I'm sorry Alex was desperate for children <laughs> I know how desperate I am for children um like she needs to be having that conversation with Kelly soon I don't know just that, that kind of forgot all about that I'm sorry you do not have a character to be so invested in the concept of children that she breaks up with her fiance over it to then just never mention them again um then Kelly I think Hers was really dwelling on the fact that she doesn't feel like she fits in among these people because she's not really intelligent or doesn't have superpowers, she's not strong, she's nothing. When A, she's not nothing because I truly think all superhero teams should have a psychologist on hand, a therapist on hand. They go through hell. Her grounding techniques were very useful. For Brainy, even Lena tried to use them. You know, she was very useful. And I think the fact that we saw her do that really cool slide and then she had the shield, where you see in the promo pictures of her looking awesome as the new guardian, um, I definitely think that was kind of her way of saying that like why shouldn't she be a hero too why shouldn't she do her bit i truly think that if you're going to be with the superheroes and this stand goes for lena as well they should be given as much self-defense training and as much like training as possible just so that if they're in one of those situations they can handle themselves i mean they do but like they could be given training to do it better if that makes sense just because they are not trained um and like even people like nia or brainy should be given or i think brainy might have some i don't know some like training for if they were to lose their powers because you know they could there's always a potential situation in which they get suppressed it was quite oh, 
Cause we saw, so we saw Alex, then we saw Lena, then we saw Nia and Kelly, or Kelly then Nia, John and Brainy. Brainy's was ballooned, which was very funny, but you know, very brainy. Um, I liked that his twas level intellect meant that he was still experiencing it, but he was able to snap himself out of it when John was walking around, and that John just, I guess it kind of took his psyche that time to shake it off, like he put the sh some sort of mental shield up and then he shook it off and he was able to help save the day and fight through his visions of what all of his friends were suffering, including Kara, his friends and his family, in order to push the Phantom back and get the mission done. That was such a good insight into all the different characters, into where they are right now, into what their past might be and what they might have to deal with. Then Kara. Kara's was that her friends were going to die trying to save her. I think Kara's biggest fear will always be losing the people she loves and always it will be being at fault. That was why it had the instance from season three in which everyone, all these people she loved were dead and she hadn't been able to do anything about it. Now back then she was able to change time but in this situation she wouldn't have been able to. I think having just lost all hope in the sense that losing their way home when you've just found it is a huge blow for hope. Losing a, like trusting Nixley and finding out that wasn't true, that was a, a sort of, she was lying to you as well, like there was just so much there that would cause Kara to waver and then having that fear thing thrown at her, seeing Kara without hope is so wrong, it's just, it really, it's upsetting. Um, but I'm glad that the hope she was able to give her father, I love how, I love the speech he gave, I love what he said to her about how, you know, all he did was cry and give up um, for everything he'd lost, but she filled him up with her hope, with her spark, and he will not, for her, he would never stop fighting, and that that was able to bring her back to remember that she, they're never alone, they will always keep fighting, her friends will keep fighting, that's what they do, that's what family does, and then she was able to see the ship, and to be like, that's my family, and get her dad and hug Alex, that was everything, I'm so, I'm so annoyed I want more of that scene genuinely I would have taken like a minute less of every single person's fear thing so that we could have five more minutes of the reunion and Kara being like this is my dad and you know all of that happening I'd have so rather had that rather than waiting till August and then there's a chance that in August we will cut to like four months later and you know everyone's just been chilling on earth and then Nixley turns up again <sighs> so it does seem like Nixley is going to be a villain. I think she could be the main villain for the next arc and then you know Kara kind of helped her, Kara is the one that helped give her the out so Kara will have to deal with that um, and also she's an interesting villain because yeah again she seems to be somebody that wasn't necessarily always an evil person but was kind of pushed to it, that was her story at least, I don't know maybe she always was, but you know she's a very dangerous type of figure, we saw what Mixus Svitalik was able to do and Nick Lee is also very scary, maybe we could call on him to try and find out her full name or something but yeah it's very stressful <laughs> that she is around, we started with Lex um, but Kara is home. Kara is home and when they found her she had been fighting every step of the way. She'd been getting people to keep her going. She found her dad. Like just Kara stayed strong and had people to help her when she wavered and I love that. And Kara and Alex got to hug and got to Alex got to feel her sister in her arms and know she was safe and that that's, that moment is everything to me and will be everything to me until August 24th. Um, this was a really really good episode, a really good mid-season finale. I'm so annoyed we have to wait so long um, I mean, I say that, I will blink and it will be August because that's how time works these days. But yes, this was a fantastic episode. A reminder that you can find the unedited version on my Patreon. And thank you for watching.